So these are the teams for this afternoon, starting with the Tigers. And as you can see, Jordi Device and Reesberg have been brought back into a defence, which kept a clean sheet at Bolton Wanderers. But all the attackers in midfield are relatively the same here at the KCOM this afternoon. Fraser Campbell continues to lead the front line. Camille Grzycki again was pretty prominent on Saturday. Did the spade work in getting the ball into the right areas. Here's Ervine. Now Lehigh, who had a superb game as well. And here is Grzycki again, cuts back and then launches the ball into the box. And how, oh, he's hit the crossbar. Fought for a minute, it was going to drop into the back of the net. But the Tigers very early on here, just three and a half minutes gone, have rattled the frame of the goal. It's a powerful cross from Grzycki. It's a glancing header from Bowen. And then it's only the crossbar which denies the Tigers a very early lead. Higasi, Phillips, and that's a pretty poor ball from West Bromwich Albion, pretty complacent, and Grzycki invited into the box again, goes for it himself. But over the top of the crossbar, and unfortunately for the Tigers that time it wasn't close enough, but West Brom caught out very cheaply there with poor possession and Grzycki getting into the penalty area the ball just bubbles up in front of him there from a strange touch and it floats over Ervine tries to pick out Grzycki that's a poor touch and Grzycki's in again he tries to swerve it once more he gets it wrong again over the top of the crossbar hands on his face he'll be disappointed with himself there he could have gone so much closer did he need to aim high? Could he have gone lower? The angles were pretty tight around Sam Johnston. Jay Rodriguez. Joint top scorer with Dwight Gale, but he hasn't got his strike partner today. Dwight Gale was only 50-50 before this one. And Darren Moore hasn't even included him on the bench. Ervine intercepting and going in search of Grzycki. Energetic start continues here for the Tigers. Grzycki now to Batty. Looks to find Henriksen, but is dispossessed. And now it's West Brom's turn to try and get forward with Barnes, who still carries on his way. Lehigh trying to get the tackle in. Advantage is given. West Brom now to the edge of the box. Phillips, Rodriguez shoots at goal. And they're asking the question of whether it was offside. The flag is up in that direction, but only for a goal kick. It's a good flick from Phillips into the path of Rodriguez. He's got time there, really, to pick his spot, bringing it down. He could have got a lot closer to the target than that. Higasi. Ball lost pretty cheaply by the Tigers for the first time in midfield. And now Rodriguez going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jordi Device and still going here. Rodriguez. And now to the edge of the box. The shot will come in, but over the top of the crossbar and away to safety. For Hull City, James Morrison will be disappointed that he didn't go closer. Lehigh trundling forward to take the throw in. He looks to go along up towards Fraser Campbell. Hasn't really had much involvement so far. Lehigh, Ervine. Down towards Grzycki. Ervine peeling away. Grzycki just uses Lehigh again and then the through ball to Ervine. Into the box for Campbell! But that again is pretty wasteful from the Tigers. Campbell knows it as the ball balloons over the top of the crossbar again. Maybe arched his back a little too much here. Ervine with plenty of space. And then the pass into the path of Campbell, who netted, of course, on Saturday, but we're not with finishing like that. Phillips stepping away pretty comfortably from Grzycki and then... Eric Lehigh puts his body in the way. Doesn't commit a foul because he hits the deck for Matt Phillips bumping into him. Here's Ervine. Campbell and now Ervine. Can he step away from Sam Field here? He's got to hold this one up. Campbell. Henriksen to his right. Bowen to his right. Also there is Burke. Little ball into the path of Henriksen who carries it on. Looks to put the ball in. And it's going to be a corner here for the Tigers. Better. It's been a little bit quiet attacking-wise for the Tigers in the last quarter of an hour or so. Haven't really created too much. Campbell having a shot. But now it's a corner and a good opportunity 
for one of the tall men from the back, if they can get it in here. Bowen exchanges it with Henriksen. The ball comes in, flicked on, and again the post, but it's in now, and Fraser Campbell comes up with the goods. West Brom have been low-key. The Tigers have been patiently waiting for another chance, and Fraser Campbell's on target this time. West Brom, they look at each other in disgust. The Tigers are in front. It's Hull City 1, West Brom 0. Little routine between Bowen and Henriksen. This ball's got plenty of curve on it. It was Irvine who smacked the post this time. And Fraser Campbell is unmarked and totally unopposed. And he says, thank you very much. Fraser Campbell on the score sheet then. Back-to-back -back goals for Hull City's number 25. He scored in the last championship meeting between these two at the Hawthorns. 10 years ago and he's up to his old tricks once more Irvine Bowen Agazi digging a hole for himself really here got a bit of work to to get it clear and he's done just enough but Bowen is snapping here at the heels of Sam Field Elphick being hunted down Batty a real cluster of players over on this right-hand side. Bowen has managed to win it back here inside the box. Jared Bowen, and then it just comes off Dawson out of play for a corner. And once again, West Brom getting themselves in a tangle at the back and Jared Bowen trying to make things happen. Dawson is who West Brom can be thankful for there. Long ball attempt again, easily gobbled up by Rhys Burke, who has been a rock so far. Jared Bowen looks to find Batty, but he's given the ball away in a dangerous area. It's Rodriguez here for West Brom. And good defensive work from the Tigers. Marshall not needed there because the defensive line prevented the ball from reaching him. Grzycki being pulled back all the time there. He's won the ball back here, Grzycki. Block comes in. Bowen. Now Rhys Burke setting his sights here to get the ball in. And then it could be a good chance and it's easily pouched in the end by Sam Johnston working his way over to his left-hand side. I thought Irvine was going to be the man to st strike it, but in the end it was Camille Grzycki actually getting the full connection. Tommy Elphick now finds Batty. Campbell really pressurising Hagazi here. Not letting him off the hook at all in this game. Livermore can't head it down cleanly. Batty to Irvine. Grzycki looking to get his way around the West Brom defence. Into the box for Campbell. But an intervention at the last second there from West Brom stops Campbell getting the shot away. This is the chance then as Grzycki played it in. It's a good tackle from Higazi there. The whistle's beginning to cry here from the Hull City faithful as West Brom now look to get forward. Barnes, good tackle comes in. Maybe time for West Brom to have one chance here. We're into the 95th minute. Livermore. Townsend, in comes Bowen this time. Adaribayo is signalling for everyone here to get into the penalty area. A touch of excitement right at the end of this fixture. In comes the throw-in, Higazi, and the only save really that Marshall has had to make all day is to pluck that one out of the air and say thank you very much and try and run the clock down as much as possible. Higazi still on his feet, walking away. That's it! It's all over here at the KCOM Stadium. Not the most entertaining of fixtures, but boy, oh boy, it's a very important three points. And you can see what it means to everybody in black and amber. Back-to-back -back victories for the first time since April for Nigel Adkins' side. Thanks to that man, Fraser Campbell. Back-to-back -back goals for him in almost a year as well. Smiles for the Tigers fans and smiles for us up here. It's full-time at the KCOM. And it's finished. Hull City 1, West Bromwich Albion 0.